Okay, so I was debating if I even wanted to film right now because as usual, my daughter is being very interactive today, but you know what? Maybe that'll get y'all's attention um, to the video. But anyways, so I'm finally doing a review on my Sproni baby. If you hear her, just pretend she's not there. Um, anyways, I'm finally doing an actual review on her. I believe I do have an unboxing that I did. I just, I don't know. I never upload these videos and you'll always hear me say the same thing in every video. I'll go back and do it when I actually have like a mood for it. But anyways, so apparently this is also a hard to get piece. Let's just say this for 20 and 20, 2020, 2021, everything is hard to get. Okay, let's just say that. Um, however, I will say that with this particular one, um, I um, I did wait a little bit for her. Um, but anywho, let's just get right to it. Do I love my Speroni BB and Demir Azure? Yes, I do. I love her as much, if not more, than my mini Palm Springs in the mono. So when I originally got that little backpack, I loved it. I find myself wearing it, the, the mono, I find myself wearing it a lot like when it's raining outside because it has the treated leather strap so I don't have to worry about the rain. Or when I know I'm just gonna be somewhere where, uh, you know, it's just prone to dirt and whatever. So, with that in mind though, I still wanted a cute little backpack style that I could wear with lighter colors and that's where she came in. So, I believe there's a PM size and this is the BB size. I don't have anything in MM currently to really compare her to. Um, so, this is what I have right now. As soon as I got her, you already know what I did. I sprayed her down with Apple Guard to protect her. Um, I still don't rely on the Apple Guard too much because, you know, it's leather um, straps. So I just, I do it just for kind of a peace of mind, but I still try to avoid wearing it on rainy days. Um, I've worn this bag quite a few times. Again, I don't think this makes a great everyday bag because of the size and the closure on it. And I'll go over that in a minute. But I do feel like my mini Palm Springs and my backpack styles or my hobo style are great little accessory bags to have. So I've said this in a few other videos. I have bigger bags that I really haven't worn and mostly because of um, COVID. I feel like they're better work bags where you can throw in um, your uh, planners, your laptops, and that would be a style like the Neverfull, which I have yet to review and I will. Whereas I get so much use out of these right now because um, I've been staying at home a lot. So I've been going out a little more and that's when I'm able to rotate these. Now I'm sure I'll get back into using a, a bigger bag once I return to work. And then I'm sure I'll be using the heck out of those bags actually now that I think about it. Um, so I don't know. Um, so, I mean, even as I'm sharing that with you all, that'll probably create some more life on this one. Um, I always like to keep the bag as I'm recording because you're here to see the bag, not me, obviously. Um, here she is up close so beautiful there's a little side pocket here that honestly i don't feel like it's very practical to use can you fit an iphone in there yes you can um but it just does not make sense to me it's not very practical in my in my opinion so i don't use it i just keep it there for decor um for you know aesthetics um which i know that probably sounds terrible when you spend what you will on this bag but that's just me. Right now I don't have the straps on it because I just have it sitting and so I don't like the the straps to just be taking all these weird shapes as a resting because it will crease in that way. Um, but yeah, she's held up pretty well. I don't really expect tarnishing this soon and if I did I'd probably throw a fit because I've literally only had her a few, maybe two months. I, I need to look at the receipt, I can't remember. But, um, 
I purchased this one from the Galleria at the Houston store. And you can definitely tell, like, once you come in here that I have worn her. I've actually traveled with her as well. Um, there's a little tiny ink stain inside. Now, the good thing about ink stains like that is, well, one, that did not, should have not happened because I don't really try to keep pens in here. But since I was traveling, I just took things that I felt like I might need along the trip, uh, including a pen. But, um, and it was covered, so I don't know how that happened. But anyways, I've gotten ink stains on the interior of bags before. And when they're just like little pen marks, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, the little wipes will remove it. I've never had an ink stain where the uh, pen bled. That would really suck. So I'm glad that that didn't happen. I'm going to definitely go back to my no pens in my purses roll or liquids. Um, especially with this one with the pink lining. One thing that I've noticed in some of the pre-loved ones, if you're thinking about getting this bag and why I don't like to wear it out in the rain is because I've noticed that when they get wet, some people begin to experience color transfer where the interior pink suede bleeds out onto the canvas. And that really sucks. You know, I know a lot of people are probably going to hate me for saying this, but just because you're paying what you're paying for these bags, do not use that as a reason to expect them to be like these heavy duty, hardcore bags. It's like the complete opposite with luxury goods. It seems like the more expensive the item is, the more fragile it is. And that especially applies to bags like Chanel um, or your other more expensive bags like your Hermes and stuff like that. Like you would think that because you're paying what you're paying that they would survive a thunderstorm, but they're not. It's the complete opposite. Um, luxury goods are very fragile and you literally have to baby them if you don't want anything happening to them. I want to say that I baby my bags, but then I really don't. Um, I will enjoy my bag. Of course, the only thing that I feel like I personally will avoid my bag um, getting is stains. Other than that, like as far as creases goes and the patina, like I expect that to happen because I wear the bags. But um, now that's not to include defects. Some of these bags do come out defective and of course get your money back if you can. But um, yeah, so um, because I understand this or it's my personal opinion or observation, um, I just really try to take care of this particular style when it comes. You know, I'm not saying that they shouldn't maybe improve the quality. I'm sure they will. And with time, something new will be amped. But as of now, I just watch these videos so I can kind of see what to look out for. I haven't heard anybody really talk about the bleeding on here. Um, and honestly, that's because that's an observation that I've made, I've made on the bags that are being resold. Um, I've noticed that some of them experience that bleeding. And when I ask why, they say they either had something inside and it spilled or it obviously got wet. Um, aside from that, it's an Azure print. I know you've heard of color transfer and rubbing. So I haven't really been mindful of what I've worn around it, but I did spray the canvas. I don't know if the Apple Guard will do anything for the canvas or if it's just for the Vachetta, but so far I haven't had any issues. It's kept it pretty pristine. And of course, you know, I kind of keep an eye on it as I'm wearing it to see what it, what I'm experiencing, what I can observe. Um, but yeah, let me see what else can I share with you all. Um, I'm trying to think. So, okay, you probably already know this, but it comes with this interior pocket and the bigger pocket. You can actually fit quite a bit in this bag. The only down side to this is I wouldn't Okay, so I thought it was adorable to tra travel in, but I don't think it was practical. I feel like a bum bag or the Palm Springs are more practical to travel in because they have a zipper. Um, and this one does not. It only has the leather tab pulls and then it has this um, clap on button that honestly, like, 
it clasps, but it's not very, um, what's, what, what, how would I describe it? It's not very secure. Like it did come off, you know, depending as I'm putting it on with the straps and I guess creating like, um, a pull here, it does, it does come undone. So I wouldn't, what I did to kind of aid with that is I took that pochette link chain that I have just a little chain and I attached it here and to the zipper and now it still left it pretty loose but to where you know it really wasn't doing much but in my mind it just it helped in my mind it helped but um yeah so one thing you'll observe about this backpack is that it does come with two detachable straps now this I feel like <laughs> now this I do feel like it's a great great idea um, because I use these straps. <laughs> because I use these straps on my pochette accessoires. So instead of purchasing a separate leather strap, I use this for it. Um, and that's worked out really well. With this backpack, a lot of concerns that I hear people having is that they're too short to wear it as a actual backpack. Me being one of those people, I don't want to have the straps altered in case I ever decide to sell this bag. So what I did was, and I'll show you, I usually use both straps when I'm doing this, but I attach one end to the top and then one end to this side. And I'll actually go ahead and just throw both of them in here. I'm not really paying attention to what ends where right now. I'm just trying to show y'all. Okay, I lied. <laughs> so then I attached that there. And then I attached the other end to the same size. And this is how I wear it as a crossbody. I like to wear it in the front. So these two sides, this side that is like this, I bring it over like this. And then it just looks so much cuter this way. This is just my personal opinion. This is how I like to wear it. And this is how I was wearing it on the airport when I traveled. You can adjust it to get a little bit higher to you, as you can see. Or you can bring it to the side like that, which I wouldn't recommend because, like I said, this already isn't very sturdy. So I kept it up here where I could see it. And of course, once you tie it, it's going to look a little different. It's going to give it that, that backpack shape that we love to see on it like that. <laughs> My daughter is so adorable. In terms of what fits in here, um, I did buy a wallet for her and I'll do a review on her later. I did the Victorine wallet in Damier Azor with the pink interior. I have yet to use this wallet it's literally been sitting there i don't know what's going on with me but see a lot of these things you won't know until you get the item like i went to the store and i even exchanged this i had gotten something else originally and i've yet to use it i don't know maybe i'll fall in love with it I, and i'm over my 30 day mark so um we'll see we'll see what i do maybe i'll resell it when i do resell my items it's never for more than what i purchased if anything i bring the price down but i don't know i just haven't really worn it but what i did have was my recto verso i'm telling y'all that it's the go-to wallet for everything it's just annoying to have to keep changing my cards out like that's what it is but anyways i bought this for it and it does fit very comfortably lots of room in there just to give you an idea of how much you can put in here um, let me leave her right here so you can observe her and I'm going to grab some things that I would actually put inside of her just so y'all can kind of have an idea of, <laughs> what came out there, of what you could actually put in here. Um, let's see, my pochette, um, let's see, I have my shades in here. Okay, so I don't really have much on me right now, but this is literally all I had in here for my trip. Um, 
So I had my mini pochette, or you could do your makeup bag, but I ended up using this to put my makeup in. I had my handy dandy versatile wallet and I had my shades and my passport was in here too. I don't have it on me and then some AirPods that I'm not gonna bother looking for right now, but see what I mean? Like a lot actually fits in here. And then when you tie it, it, it makes it even, it still, it doesn't change is what I'm saying. Like you still have that pouch look to it and still have tons of room in here. And it looks adorable, you guys. So overall, again, going back to, do I think you should buy this adorable backpack? Yes, I think you should. I think this is a great piece to add on to a collection. Should this be the only, should this be your first bag from Lewis? Probably not. I would recommend like a Neverfull or an Arts, well, maybe an Artsy, but something that you can use all the time. But if you're looking for something cute to add, definitely, definitely, definitely a bag worth getting. I love her. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have time, check out the other ones. I have quite a few of them. Um, and honestly, more that I have yet to upload, but I will eventually. Thank you.